All right, welcome back. I have a special guest here with me, probably my favorite uh, Robin Wine interview ever. And I had to drag him back. Uh, it's been a while since he's been here. Uh, Ramile Kukalit Safaro. Well, you know him as Reminis. Alaji. How are you doing? Alaji. You have to add Alaji to that. Alaji. No yeah. vex. Yeah. Well, I'm very sorry. It's not, it's not easy. <laughs> you have ended. Yes, I've ended. I've How's it been, way. man? It's been a while. Good, good, you good, haven't good. been back here in a minute. Yes, yes, I haven't. And you, we haven't even seen you anywhere in a while. Mm. Thanks, go, thank God for King of Boys. Yeah. At least we know you are around. Yeah. But generally, you've been very low key. What's going on? Uh, well, um, I, I just, that's how I've been. Sometimes I just, you know, I just want to lay back. I want to sit down. You know, just listen to other people, see what other people are doing, and I'm not just in the mood to create. And you know, I want to try other things out. Say, 2021, I I ventured into my sports business full time. Oh. You know, yes, yeah, I my sports agency, started a uh, football show on radio, and then of course uh, King of Boys too as well. So I just I like to you know time myself. You know, sometimes yeah. I chill out. Then also my kid. Uh, started secondary school, which was I had oh. to do school runs for the first time in 11 years. I didn't know what that was like <laughs> until so that's why I knew that my wife they try, you know. So, <laughs> you know, so yeah, yeah. A whole child in secondary school. Yeah, my first kid in secondary school. Oh wow. Be, yeah, I did try small. <laughs> yeah, do well. Yeah, do well. <laughs> so yeah, so I just took uh, you know basically just took the year off and like. So, so but, your plate has been very full. Very. I, I always thought you. What do you like interviews? No, I don't like. Yeah, because I always felt like you were media sort of. Mm. Um, That's the impression I have. I don't like, I don't like interviews generally. But um, if I have to, if I have stuff to say, or if I just think, oh, maybe it's been a while. Let me just say something. Or I like this platform. I'd like to be there. But, but say every time you put on the TV, you see me there. I just tell them go on Instagram or we will email you when we have information. <laughs> we don't have anything to say now. So I'm not really. You know, I don't like to be um, to be um, misinterpreted, and you know that's what goes around these days. Once you say something, you know they pick that up, and yeah. so I just prefer to, you know, to just be on my own. And yeah. when I have stuff to say, I come out and say. Let's talk King of Boys, man, because yeah. I don't know if I've talked to you since the whole sort of phenomenon happened. Yeah. Yeah. And we've heard too many stories about how you didn't want to do it for a long time. Yeah. You know, take us through that journey, and especially the, the sequel, yeah. where you know, I mean, you died. Mm -hmm. We thought. Yeah. Did you think you were coming back? Um, well, <laughs> when what are you contractually when I, when, allowed when to I say? When I saw, when I saw, <laughs> I think I'm allowed to talk about it. Now. <laughs> when I saw the script at first, and yeah, of course I didn't want to do it. I think everybody knows that I've said that many times. I didn't want yeah. to do it. I wasn't sure I could pull it off. Yes, I wasn't sure. And I told Kemi, I said, uh, I don't think I can do this. First day on set, I told, I said, look, I'm going to refund. I can't do this. It was actually really? my birthday. Yeah. It was actually my yeah, birthday, 2018, already. yeah. And I saw Anshola performing. I'm like, yo, babes, come. I can't do this thing. I'll send you your money tomorrow. Um, <laughs> um, but those, they're waiting for me at uh, a club already. It's my birthday. They're waiting for me there. People are waiting for me. They want to drink. Let me go and drink. I'll refund you in the morning. And she was like, no, you can't do this. You can't do this. And shout out to her. You know, shout out to Kemi. She's, she, I mean, she, she, she's a go-getter. I think she, now I understand that she, she knew what she wanted. And, yeah. you know, she went for it. So. Uh, I wonder, I was like, the character would die. I'm like, okay, I don't care. It's not like I'm going to do this again anymore. And I didn't even know it was going to be that successful anyway. I was just like, well, whatever. Die, die, die. Okay, shoot me. Yeah, quite shoot me. That's, <laughs> then, even the last scene, it was terrible. The last, that part where I got shot and all that, it was, yeah. I was exhausted. I hadn't slept in like two days. Then I think I was about to pass out. And Remy, uh, that's Kemi's younger brother, was like, we have to do two more scenes. I'm like, no, I'm done. <laughs> I I'm going home now. So you know, I got in the car and Remy walked and I was like, bro, please, bro, you've done this already, let's get this done. I'm like, okay, I have 15 minutes, let's just do this. And you know, when the whole thing came out, I didn't even go for the premiere. I know. I wasn't sure, I didn't go for the I was just <laughs> at home. Kemi sent me passes, sent me everything. I was just at home, I was just like, I'm like, when you do your premiere finish? You know, because I wasn't sure. I was just in my house, I was watching football, actually. I realized, man, you can't lose that. Is. I was watching man, yeah, man, you lost that. So it was, I was just like, I'm like, I don't know, man, this movie thing. You know, so. Then my wife and my sister and my nieces, you know, went to the cinema. My wife came back and was like, yo, fam, people were clapping when you got to your scene. I'm like, oh, really? Should I go and put that on my Instagram bio now? I was going to. She was like, yeah, people really liked you. They came and was like, you see, I told you, people really like you. People. I'm like, yeah. Hey. So I can actually act. She's like, you did well, you did well. You know, so I'm like, okay, I'll do a few um, promo um, cinema right, rounds yeah. for you just to support and all that. So, yeah, and of course, it, um, one thing it did was, it, of course, it opened. You know, I think musicians, we tend to be a bit, I, I don't know if this is the right word, a bit ignorant. Like, we, we, we live in our own bubble. Yep. You understand? And you don't want to admit that there's another demographic out there who don't even care about music. So 
Um, King of Boys opened my eyes to that, that there are a lot of people who actually do not care about your music, they just like you for, you know. Um, and I started discovering some actors I didn't even know, uh, 5 million followers on Instagram. I'm like, I just, I just, I've this person last month. I mean, who's this guy? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, ah, who's this guy? There's a whole other world. Yeah, out like, there, how is this guy? I'm follow I don't know, I don't know him, I don't know her. So, you, so, you know, so there's, there's another world out there that, you know, that exists beyond our world. And um, of course, I'm, I'm, I feel privileged to, you know, to be able to, Teleport between yeah, those. Yeah, between both. And now there's football, as you <laughs> thought. So I'm trying to do the three most popular things in the world. Only you know, music, movie, only me. Are you happy with the sequel? Ah, yes. Ah, that was stressful. Yeah. It was very stressful. There was a bit of while out with me and Kemi on that as well. Like, there was a point I said, I'm not doing it anymore. Like, because he was doing NSARS, he was, yes. was doing the protest. Um, we got caught up on set and. I mean, it was, very, it was a very emotional period. I, I remember uh, Inse and um, Auntie Shola, I think the second day, when they were, were lucky one. So, and um, that was when they were vandalizing the entire place and they were scared. You know, people were like, lock the gates, lock the gates. I'm like, go see other men, she be buried, you know? So I, I remember I would go in the morning and Shola would be crying, like, oh my God, I need to leave this country and go to my kids. My kids told me not to come. I'm like, Auntie, don't worry. You know, then I'll get her food, sit down in her room, stay for five hours with her. Then I'll have to go to the room as well. I'll go and talk to her not to be worried. You know, everything will be fine. So I was like the only man amongst them. So I'll go to Anshola, I'll go to Inse, I'll console her, I'll tell her, don't worry, nothing's going to happen. Nobody's going to come here because there was, there was a lot of burglary going on at that point in time. So, but of course, I was there with my, my boys. I'm like, nothing's going to happen. Even if they come, so I went to, I was like, I'll tell them. Leave you here. Leave you here right now. You know, so <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, and, and it was emotional for me as well because, you know, I'm the man of the house in my house. I've got three girls and my wife and, you know, the house helps. So they were at home alone and, I was, you yeah, know, right. on the island, so I was a bit worried, you know, with video call all the time. Are you okay? I heard this is happening. Please lock the gates, lock the doors, you know, and yeah, so, and we had to shoot all through that. Kemi was ill as well. She was just recuperating and yeah. it was a bit emotional for everybody. It was a bit, so, I mean, there was tension here and there, you know, and sometimes I just say, I'm on, man, I'm not, I'm done. Yeah. Just leave me. I'm not doing this and, you know. Yeah, but uh, it came out. Yeah. I, I think it came out fine. Yeah, yeah it did. Uh, so yeah. you're going to do another one now? Because you are now, I don't know, I mean, they can't be a spoiler Ebuka. at this point. I know you are going to be the third. Ebuka. It's you, are, you are using style to siphon, <laughs> to siphon info from me. You are, using, you, you are using tactical <laughs> maneuver. To... <laughs> I'm asking him, because he doesn't want to tell hey. you. Hey. So, are you, are you quite, so you're an actor now, right? Um, I think so. I think so. I think How I often do you wanna... get approached now to, to do stuff? I get approached a lot. But Billy... You they give them. Ah, Billings <laughs> Wero. My man Billy gone. You know, considering where I'm coming from, you know. You know musicians, our mouth is here already. So what's <laughs> you give like, them? Our like, mouth, our mouth don't reach here. So yeah. by the time you just come, they're like, ah, how much is the movie budget? I'm like, oh well. I don't I don't know what's the boy, you know. <laughs> so yeah, but um but but, but uh, beyond fees and all that, you know, sometimes I tend to look at the script. If it's something I want to do. Something I don't want to do. I've, I've done. I think I did one apart from KOB that'll be out this year. Oh, nice. You know, yeah, that, yeah. That one centered around my person, my name, and all that stuff. Interesting. I like, I like the scripts. It's, 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 it's kind of tailored, you know, around me. And yeah, and I did that. So yeah, billing con, you know. <laughs> so that billing is, is important. Ah, my man. You have a child in secondary school now. I've got three, bro. Uh huh. <laughs> and so I have to, school fees I still have to get my gang stone, you know what I mean? Exactly. So, you know. <laughs> well done, man. Looking forward to the new one you mentioned. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, of course, congrats on King yeah, of Boys and everything. Thank you. But you mentioned football a lot now. What's yeah. happening there? Uh, football, football, football. Well, um, huge football fan. Uh, we support the same football club. Yes, we've we been heartbroken for a <laughs> I don't know if you're a part of those that supported Oli, but I don't, I don't know who I support one. anymore. I, mean, I don't know about that one. Nick, let's not so, say so, today. Let's focus on Super Eagles for today. Yeah, yeah Super Eagles, yeah. So, so um, you know, I always wanted to do football. And um, so I just sat down, say, December 2020. You know, then I called my guys. I'm like, look, I want to go 100 on this thing now. Let's start up the agency, you know, do it properly, set up properly, register, do all this. And of course, I picked up my phone, I started, you know, you know, contacting people, oh, we do this and this, and yeah. Um, so you run a football agency now? Yeah, oh, full time, yeah. Sports, we do ads, do all that, yeah. Proper sports agency. The same way music and advertising, proper sports agency, you know. So got my guys, and um, through that, I'm like, okay, well, because people don't take musicians serious, you know. 
Imagine that in a seminar as the CEO of uh, LR Sports, they will say, Allah, God, I can't go, man, 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 man. You know, so I had to appoint someone, you know, someone that's been really, really close to me and, you know, has been doing a lot of groundwork, you know, for me over the years. And of course, brilliant guy. So I looked for someone that could, you know, handle this, appointed him CEO. Um, you know, we run it together, basically. And, you know, yeah, and uh, it's not been bad now. We've done a lot of stuff with a lot of big names, you know. And, yeah, and I have my own football show on the side. Okay. Because I didn't just want to be idle in the whole thing, so I do my football shows Monday evenings. You know, yeah. On and, radio. On radio, yeah, on radio. Yeah. yeah, and where I have the fans calling. So it's an avenue for fans to call in. But we don't do only football. We don't do music. We don't talk about We just talk football. Call in, talk, we yab each other, talk yeah. to each other anyhow. You can see I, I cut the phone. <laughs> you know what I'm so like that, so it's fun. You know, and uh, it's just a way of, you know, I tell people Saturdays in my living room is we argue all day. So I just do it on radio. It's not, you know, it's not different. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, yeah. So I'm Are you scouting that. players as well? Uh, no, no. Is that part of the plan? No, no, no. I don't want to do that. I've done that in the past. And I've done that as I own an amateur football club. So don't worry, I've done that one. Yeah. Like six years, I, I've done that one, taking players to um, Netherlands, Indonesia. Interesting. But you know, um, Greece, <laughs> you know, I've oh, done wow. that. I've, yeah, yeah, I've done that. And uh, it's not a, it is a one in a million, yeah. you know. It's a tough job. It's a tough job. One breakthrough, you one very player. very patient. You, but um, you are going to spend a lot of money. Yeah. And you get disappointed by a lot of people. So, yeah. you know, yeah. So What are your thoughts about Super Eagles? I think, um, this um, do you think we're overconfident? The fans are not overconfident. Not I think the players now. The fans, I think everybody's talking about the cup already. I think pa, pa Raw um, underutilized this team. You know, I spoke about him a couple of times on my football show. Like, I don't understand what um, pa Raw was doing before. You understand? We have a lot of players that, I mean, we, we have probably since 94, 96, we have. Like the greatest good, crop of players, yeah, are like playing regular football in, you know, standard uh, European clubs, and the performances have been really, really awful. You understand? From formations to selection issues to, you know, and I think uh, Mr. Guava has, has, you know, has done a good job so far. Yeah. Compact, really optimistic. very decisive. No, he doesn't look like he cares about what anybody thinks. He just wants to get it done, and I like him for that. I like him for that. Feeling confident. Yeah, we are confident. We should, we should be able to wipe everybody. Apart from maybe say Cameroon give us a few, but we should be able to wipe everybody. Everybody looks white people like, very very white people. Very very. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah. Let's talk music now. Yeah. How many albums? Five. Um, four albums, one EP, fifth album in ah, I've said it, fifth album in two months or so, in sixty days. You heard it here first. Sixty days. First single in three days. Oh, nice. Yeah, so the absolutely. music suffered all this while with all of these things you're doing. Uh, the music hasn't suffered. I mean, I missed all this. I still put out. I put out what was yes, probably did, be one of one of the biggest rap songs last year, yeah. Omar with Olamide. I didn't even put out a video for it. And I mean, I, the music cannot suffer. I have um, what I've been able to do is I have my own fans. I have my own followers. I have loyal people that listen to me. You understand? I'm not trying to battle for demographic with other people or with these kids or whatever. No. Yes, and I have my own. Audience, you understand, and I know how very to serve. You are very, very, very extremely loyal, so I know how to serve them, and how to, you know, and of course they've been disturbing me. Since. I promised them an album August last year, but because due to all these things, I had to. So it's coming out in March. That's cool ones. Let me confess it now. That's cool ones. No, make me listen. But it has been ready, so we are going to go off um, in three days with, with the first, the first one. Next month, there's one we boot you. Then uh, March, there's one we see me. Then the album comes out. That's it. So I've opened up. Told you people now, let me rest on Instagram, please. Nice. Yeah, so you will collect this year a lot of music. <laughs> I'm in the mood to put out music this year. What's and you get a concert as well. What's different about this, this album? This album, um, each of my albums from, you know, from the artwork to the content, I like, I, like to, I like my projects to be themed. You know, if you look at my artworks and the music, like I'm, this time I'm talking about fatherhood more. I'm talking about where I am now. You know, so I'm talking about my experiences with people, fair weather friends. You know how family has, you know, you know had me um, re rearrange my priorities now. You understand? My priorities have definitely shifted. I'm no longer into cars. I'm no longer into clothes as I used to be. You know, right now you 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 get now you get as it be. <laughs> exactly. January now, you know, everybody don't know that. You know, <laughs> you know, you don't know that. So the email that they wasted. You know, you know. So so I'm you know I'm talking about that and um, what I don't 
or what I don't want to leave out as well is I want to grow. I want my fans to grow along with me. People that have been listening to me for about 10, 12 years, you know, I want them, they're, they're, I mean, they're older now, they have kids as well. So I want them to listen to my music and be able to relate, you know, what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yes, and of course, a little bit of, um, you know, a little bit of yeah, yeah. here and there, but, you know, the main, the core of, <laughs> you know, a little bit. yeah, a little bit of, you know, <laughs> a little bit of this and that, you know, but, but, where, <laughs> but where I am now at the moment, you know, I, I have to make that reflect in my music, yeah. you understand, I have to make that reflect because obviously I don't dress the way I used to dress 10 years, 8 years ago, I don't sound the way I used to sound, eight, I don't think the way I used to think, eight, so that has to reflect in my music, yeah. you know, my music has to grow, you understand, I have yeah. to, I, you know, it has to reflect where I am at the moment, so, yeah, that's it. What are your thoughts on music here? Because it's like, 2021 was crazy for Afrobeats yeah, yeah, yeah. and Nigerian music as a whole. It looked like everything just started happening. Yeah, you know? We got our yeah. first Grammy all of a sudden. Yeah. Grammy nominations. Grammy, yeah, Grammy is now pure. Like, oh, 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 yeah, Everybody's going to get it. Well, I have seen I'm like, what's yeah, going on here? Get it. You know? It's a very exciting time, but it's exciting also puts a lot of pressure on people like you. You um, know, does it? Yeah, um, me personally, no, it doesn't. You know, I just try to do what, what, I, what I should do, what I can do. You understand? I try to do what I can. What the point is at every time, at every point in in music history, there are people who will be pioneers. You understand? Say for for the modern rap game now, you have Rugged Man, Mod Nine, and Co. They were pioneers. You understand? For our side of the map, a lot of Ajasa, Olamide, myself. You understand? For the pop stars, Wiz, David. You understand? For the new school kids, you'd have say CK. So there's you know there are pioneers in every. Yeah. You understand every genre. You understand. So you, you, I mean, I can't be under pressure. I'm just going to do what I have to do, and hope for you know, hope for the best. Of course, but you, of course, you want to up your game as well, and you want to you know blend in with this um, Gen Z. Now Gen Z get the game now completely because they own the internet. So you can't, you can't. I mean, you can't fight them. They own the yeah. internet. You understand? They, because they own, you can't. I mean, you can't fight with Gen. They own the internet. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They own the internet. So on all fronts. That, that on all, you understand? That their game. You understand? So you, of course, you want to align with them. You want to introduce or reintroduce yourself to, you know, that demography as well. But yeah. you know, while not leaving your core demography behind. So yeah, it's just, yeah. it's just at the end of the day, this thing is just a bit of balance here and there. You know, like yeah. I like I mentioned about doing movies. You know, it's a new demography now. So people that were not really interested in my music before, since Kill Bina will be interested. You know, and I like that. Yeah. So it's just it's, at the end of it, it's just pull numbers together, add two and two. You know, make fufu. <laughs> Big soup and, and now, we are now in an era where I mean everybody's okay, your digital yeah. is fine, you're okay, you don't have to be number one. You yeah, understand? Doing okay. But you're doing really, really okay. You get so yeah, we're in that era now and it's also Why would you want to be number one? I'm not saying you, I don't want to be, I'm saying you don't have to be. Okay. You don't have to be. Yeah. You understand? You don't have to be. It's not bad if you aren't. You know, so of course, I want yeah. to be. You have to be ambitious. Yeah. You have to, of course, you have to remain ambitious. But I'm saying you don't have to be. You understand? You can still make a lot of tons of money, and you don't have to be number one. A lot of people, a lot of people think you're probably the best rapper in this country. Ah, Do you think well, you are? Well, um, I know I have Lamba. You know, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Of course, of course, I'm not going to deny. I know. Of course, I read that. I know people say that, but. Um, uh, well, it feels great now. If you, if you think I am, it means I am. Do you think you are? A lot of people think I'm sexy. <laughs> a lot of people think I'm sexy too. And I tell my, my people every day that, how can you sleep and wake up in the morning and say reminiscence? If you say reminiscence, oh well, I'm going to take it with my old chest. It's a W. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, feel, it feels great to, you know, to do stuff and be recognized. You understand? About being the best. I think that there are so many... So many stuff has to be looked at yeah. now. It's no longer like, you know, the Jiga and Nas yeah. era. But, I mean, it just feels great to me, you know. You know, I'm to okay be with being... Yeah, I'm just okay with being in the conversation. I, I just want to work hard. My aim here is to come out. And I said on my first, my very first album, I'm here to collect money. You know, so every other thing is secondary. Me be, being mentioned as best, that's okay, secondary. But my primary assignment here is because I collect the bar. Last, last. I'm not going to lie to you. So <laughs> let it back. <laughs> Thank you very much. 2020 looking, 2022 looking very good for you. Um, yeah. Is that a new movie probably coming uh, out yeah, this year? Yeah, new movie, album. Yeah. And, new um, album, concert, when? Yeah, end concert, of the year. Yeah, end of the year, yeah. Okay. When would I have? Maybe KOB thing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> where do we get your football show? Already? My football, Mondays. Um, can I mention yeah. where it is? Yeah, Brilliant FM, Monday evenings, 8 p.m. 
stay tuned. I'm a lot of banter, a lot of. Every car will come too. But every car will come when I like to. I like to set it up a little bit when I like. I'm, I'm an agenda driven right. human being. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. Thank you, Ebuka. Thank you. And his single drops in three days. Yeah, in three days. So look out for 26, that. my birthday. All right. Yeah. We'll take a break now, Brad. Right, but please stay with us. <laughs>